and welcome to Old Steam Powered Machine Shop uh, from my hideout in South Florida. Uh, don't have any steam down here, but I found a few things that I thought you might be interested in. Uh, that little intro that I put together was just little shots from around the area. Uh, the big engine uh, was at the Florida Flywheelers show. And uh, I covered that in my video number 19 if you're interested in seeing the complete rundown on that engine. Uh, coming up, they have uh, Floor to Flywheel of Rob Moore from the machine shop over there. Uh, uh, kind of explains the deal with their line shaft that they've been working on. Uh, they've got a shaft set up to. Uh, run a few machines, uh, a drill press and a lathe and a milling machine and a big punch press and uh, they, they're running it with a 7 horsepower uh, economy engine and uh, that engine I bored and sleeved the uh, cylinder for it in my New York shop last summer and if you're interested you can see that on uh, number 23 video. Uh, also over there they do kind of a cool thing with a Model T Ford. Uh, they have it all blown apart on the ground and uh, they put the whole thing together uh, just a few minutes and drive it away. And that's always fun to watch. Uh, another thing I want to uh, talk about is uh, I have quite a few old machine shop reference books and this particular one is uh, 1919 Peter uh, McGraw Hill publishing uh, it's called machine tool practice and it's a, a textbook for a shop machine shop class or uh, uh, probably more an apprentice program and it starts from the beginning and goes through lathe, milling machine, shaper, uh, planer, uh, gear cutting, thread cutting. Uh, this book, if you studied it and knew every knew every, the stuff in here, uh, you could walk into my New York shop and, and lay out and build anything and run any of my machines. I'd like to send this to a young man or woman that can really use it and somebody that's interested in old machine shop stuff or manual machine uh, I'd like someone who's under the age of 19 uh, to either comment or email me and just tell me why you'd like to have this book send it to you. I had a friend of mine that lives down the road who's in the stump grinding business do some work out in my backyard and it was really pretty cool. I mean, I know, but I'm running out of material here, so this was pretty interesting. He's got a, uh, a new uh, radio control, remote control stump grinder that is really slick. He can get into really tight places with it and he and his dog came down the other day and they did all this, cut out all the stumps along my fence. And uh, so I'll show you that. Uh, I'd like to put in a plug also for all the YouTube creators. Uh, the machine shop channels or any of the other channels uh, these guys, Adam Booth, Keith Rucker, uh, Keith Ferner, uh, and dozens of other guys, uh, Ox Tools, uh, Line Shaft Restorations, Backyard Machine Shop, all of these guys, if you find them, just shut off the stupid TV and you, you find something that you're really interested in uh, or you can learn something from it. And I know a lot of commenters and, and people that uh, email me uh, tell me that they, they really learn some things from these channels. And I mean, these guys don't 
spend all of this time to put up these things to make money because I mean even if you monetize your YouTube channel you're not gonna make I mean <laughs> you're not gonna make much of it. Nowhere is near begins to cover the time that you spend putting these things up. But they know something about something and they want to pass it on to you. So I'm quite thankful for all of them. Uh, now to get down to business. Uh, Last year in the shop, I uh, rebuilt a governor uh, that I was going to use on the Morris machine tool, Morris Machine Works engine that I'm rebuilding in my New York shop. If you've been following along some of my earlier videos, you'll, you'll see that under construction. And uh, completely rebuilt that governor last year on this bench here. And uh, so now I got another one, and it's like deja vu all over again. This, this governor is for the Lily engine that I picked up at Jonas Stutzman's last summer, and I'll show you a couple photos of it right here. And uh, this one is very similar, it's just a little different style. Uh, at one time they built both styles at the same time, but it doesn't have the automatic shutoff deal with the wow, with the idler. It's got a worm gear driven gear here that tightens up on this spring that slightly affects the speed of the governor. The real adjustment is up here on this one. It doesn't have the ball ranger like the one I did last year. But I'm not gonna go through this in great detail because it's just like the other one, but I will show you I find something that's different about this one. Uh, some detail on rebuilding it. Probably start in the next video. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I appreciate all the comments and suggestions, and uh, uh, I hope you'll join me next time. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right. We've got a seven and a half horse uh, economy engine here that. Uh, David has recently for us last year we had a pretty big gouge in it and we've got it all back together now and uh, I kind of designed a little pony motor to help uh, get it started. Uh, we're going to show you now how that would run. But we got a pedal right here that runs back to a, a, a three horse motor in the back with a plate paper pulley on it. So we'll show you how that goes. connected but uh, we'll engage it right now and you can see a few belts turning what we've progressed so far.
Now this is the latest in indexable tooling. And this is the machine that, these are carbide, this is the machine that Bernie Carnegie uses for tight spots. He's the stump grinding man. And he's on the job today with his dog. Yeah, come on over here. Come on over here, get in the picture here. Come on. Come on, get over here. Come on over here, tell these fellas. Come on over here and say hi to these guys. Here, sit down there. There you go. There's my buddy. Hey, <laughs> say hi to you guys.